hello guys in this video we're going to talk about uh infinite scroll in react so firstly let's look at the problem statement so if if you want to load all the data show all the data to the user you have to do it through pagination so this was what was invented uh, firstly but in social media this will cause a friction like because no one is gonna go to second page and third page of Instagram or Facebook or, uh, for, per se. So they have um, used uh, use a concept of inf infinite scroll. So what in uh, one sentence if I had to tell is when the user reaches the end of the port, it will call an uh, API to load more data. So that's it. So there's an API hit when we go at the end of the um, and end of the window so let's look at the code okay so firstly let's look at the example okay this is my resume where is the example okay so this is uh, an api so do not get confused about api so api is just a third person who's just giving us data based on our request so so here uh, uh, this is about books so this is a book API and when I search for uh, Lord of the Rings, it's gonna give me a bunch of books. So when I reach at the end of the viewport, more data, see you can see a loading sign here and it's gonna load more data. So as you can see, this is the extra data that has come. So when I go to the view uh, end of the viewport again, uh, so this has to be done seamlessly but it's due to the api it's not like that seamless uh you know it's gonna get loading and all that stuff but you you get the point so this is a very important like like practical application because you're gonna use three different hooks so this is a pretty good uh, pro project to learn about different hooks in react so let's get into the code Okay, so I will uh, remove everything control kw so the uh, firstly we use the use book uh, use book uh, feature so firstly let's look at what's there in uh, use book search so it will everything will make sense uh, so let me clear everything out for you so so what is uh, each code doing? So uh, basically use effect, uh, so basically we are using use effect hook. So basically uh, what happens is when there is a change in query, qu so query is anything which you are gonna put over here. So basically the search text is called query. So whatever you put here is called query. So basically when the query changes, the use effect will call this um uh, uh yeah use effect will call this function basically uh, simply think about it is whenever the query text changes we are gonna call uh call a function so what does that function do so basically we are uh making the book zero or else the previous data also will be there Uh, previous, so yeah, uh, this is pretty understandable. Uh, otherwise, you know, both the search text will be search results will be shown. So, like this is a pretty big concept to explain it, but I am <laughs> trying my best. So another thing is use effect. So when the query and the page number changes, you this all will make sense when you look into the app JS. So this is just a hook we have created. So. Uh, let's uh, get into it okay pause the recording uh, so yeah uh, continuing uh, resuming it so basically use uh, so how we are communicating with the third person is or basically communicating with the API is we are using axios so we'll do a get request to the URL provided by their documentation and so cancel token is basically like at each like when you type each letter let's say you're typing Jordan's 
but at ease later you don't want an api hit so that's why you are doing it so uh, do not think much about that that is uh, not the main point here so uh then uh, what I, what's happening here is we are gonna show the previous book as well as the uh, new results along with it so you might have observed that the previous results will get if you scroll up of the same query so uh, uh yeah so i hope you got that point okay so let's don't ask more okay uh, let's look at the uh, app.js so here a uh, user is a hook by a uh, react so main thing is the observer value doesn't cause a re-render so that's why we are using it otherwise if both um, <laughs> It doesn't cause a re-render and uh, you can look into it more because the uh, it's a basically we're storing a value in this and we don't want it to cause a re-render so that's so this can be a uh, one use case of this might be uh, if you want to count if you have if you want to store a variable which will count the number of re-renders you don't want that variable to cause a re-render right so that's where you're going to use use ref a variable so consider it as a variable which doesn't change values i mean it changing of the, its value doesn't cause a re-render and it's persistent across render so that's what you need to know and uh, yeah that's it for uh, today's video and the remaining is books.map is we are uh, you know we're getting all the data from the books and we're uh, rendering rendering it uh, book by book so so when we reach at the end so index plus one is when you are reaching at the end you do this otherwise you do this so i hope uh, it's uh, this is like uh, the best i could explain and i will link the original source below so that it um helps you understand it better because if you sh straight away watch that video it's gonna create a lot of uh, problems so i hope you know it helped in some way so yeah that's it for today's video i hope to have a nice day uh, so yeah i am recording in daytime because it's sunday yeah hope to see you tomorrow